Uh, there's a website called uh, We Ranked Every Pixar Movie by by whoever Link has it. an absolute dump truck ass. <laughs> well, that's fun. No, 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 stop, no, no, no rabbit holes. We gotta get started. Well, if it isn't the leader of the Wiener Patrol, boning up on his nerd lesson. They won't let you have any fun. Uh, here's another thing. The book can also be a hat. All right, and on that note, we read Planet Side this month. How'd you guys like it? Jesus, I loved it. Real. What? I'm sorry. I'm going to enter strong, my dude. Yeah, you're uh, right. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. I love it. By uh, Michael. Uh, guys, you got to help me with this. What is this? Uh, um, Mamay? Mamay. I, I, Ma- he, should, he should just change his name to Mamory. 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 Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. Mike Mamory. Michael Mamory. Mamory. <laughs> and in this book, we follow a semi-retired colonel who gets called back to action by his old world buddy who uh who's in a high profile position and needs someone to handle something somewhat discreetly um missing an action case that turns into a sinister conspiracy oh uh, just, did, did you just bring the, make that up off the top of your head um no i wrote some notes i did some noting things things. no way i put some pencil to paper i like it oh thanks guys who who are you i am (laughs) seth uh nice to meet Uh you Uh oh wow well introduce yourselves nice to meet you Uh uh-huh uh oh yeah yeah. Josue. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is Josue. Two. Well, I, I already introduced it myself. Come oh, well, no, 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 no. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> we got Lady, also known as Raquel. Uh, yeah. We got Funny Man, also known um, as Colin, uh, Colonel Butler. Colonel Butler. Yeah, Colonel Butler. Oh, you calling him? Uh, call yeah. him. Call Colonel him. Butler. That was the main <laughs> protagonist's name. What do you want? Yeah, oh, yeah. Why, why Colonel Butler. He's a great... He was, you know. Uh, not a clue pr- protagonist. It's not a crossover. In case uh, mm-hmm. that's what everyone was assuming. No, I didn't assume that a, at a all. Board game clue. Uh, Colonel Butler. Oh my God! Colonel that's Mustard. mustard. There's, it's Mustard. Yeah. Colonel what are you Mustard. About? What are you Cousin doing? Mustard. You don't remember that chapter? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Calls back home Colonel and gets mustard. advice. Mm-hmm. Colonel Mustard. No, no, yeah. How did you dodge that rap? Oh, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I'm sure everyone did the smart thing and silenced their phones, right? Oh, no, for um, sure. Definitely. My, you know, Who says my it has just sound on their phone? Oh, good, good. Because uh, I'm definitely not silenced. Mine's at full volume, but I'm 100% confident no one's going to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to text someone real quick. 100%. Uh, I mean, so, all first the question. people that would text me are here. Okay. Aw. Aw. So, uh, when were you guys hooked on this book? Because I'm assuming you guys loved it, because I loved it. And oh. that what that's a pretty heavy question to lead with, Abraham. Uh, not really. Uh <laughs> I got hooked <laughs> chapter one. I love that guy. He's a it's, uh, old ball busting individual. Love him. Full of jokes. I was hooked. How did you uh yeah. how, how did you consume this book, Abraham? Uh I read it and did the audiobook. At Me the too. Same time. Did you uh, do you like that his super gruff voice they used for the, oh, the audio book? This, this, this guy, and uh, and he's not like a one voice pony. Like he, he no, no, you know, he, he had a little he Russian accent in there. In uh, no, it was good. I loved it. That hard gravel voice. I Eternal need to know right answers. So, at what point did you guys I feel get? Like hooked? I missed out. Oh, it's so you good. Did. You should definitely go back and listen to it. Oh yeah, no, for yeah. sure. I I agree. Yeah, really sex I... him up. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'd say probably first chapter for me too. As well, Ooh. I was pretty much like immediately into it. I like the whole like mystery idea. Actually, mm-hmm. like you know when you read that first page and it says what happened, and you like read that, I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. So I was like pretty much immediately interested. Was never not. I mean, I was interested, but I didn't get like the hooks in until a little later in. Really? Yeah, well, that's the question. Like, when when did the hook set in, right? The, the like, ew, uh, yeah, yeah. those hooks? Or I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh, this is pretty good, actually. Like, when did the clamps on your nipples really tighten? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Truth? Uh, you, were, you, were, you were about to, you know, you were about to use the safe word, you know? Um, ooh, uh, maybe when he goes planet side the first time. Really? Uh, because, well, th- not, not, and not that it was bad, just because that's no, when... No. 
a lot of it is is him interviewing and him like shuffling around the base and yeah and well, he goes down and then everything goes to shit so that's i think that's when it's like oh like he's not you know shit's yeah. exploding so of course that's gonna be the more you know <laughs> Did anyone else part. like flashback to iron man one um iron man, i was more so thinking about I, no. avatar what? the whole time but oh, it's also oh wow avatar. What? no he's in a humvee <laughs> And he's like, yeah, so anyways, I'm the... Oh! And then, you know, it just explodes. That's how Iron Man 1 starts, guys. Come on. Oh, that is true. I don't remember that. The movie. It's, it's one of the best like one of MCU movies that's it. ever been made. But, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna get, I'll find it. Uh, <laughs> so, like, for me, this... Um, it's like, I don't know if you guys remember the main character from Old Man's War. So I got a lot of similar yeah. vibes uh, with this character. Not in a bad way. Like, I don't mind getting more of this type of character. Uh, but for John me, the Johnson, part that like kind of guy, yeah. Um, I don't know, just that like I, I don't know, like I, I love old men that don't give a fuck. Like they don't care who they offend, they don't care what they say. Like if uh, if if you don't like what they say, they don't they don't care. They don't like they're not here to you know they like they've been on this earth for so long, or in this case, yeah. they've been alive for so long. Yeah. It's like uh, you know, your opinion doesn't matter. It just rolls yeah, get off. Fucked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but for me, it was uh, younger than his wife, huh? Ooh, yeah. What? Well, yeah, they're technically yeah. the same age, but like biologically was, speaking, yeah, he's uh, he's thirteen. He's thirteen years younger. Well, it's it's good for her, yeah. man. She's got that, you know, that young man. Uh huh. Uh huh. A stallion. That stallion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a crazy cradle. Jeez. Uh, for me, it was uh, a little sooner. Like I liked the whole uh, inner work. Like when he's trying to navigate the inner workings of the three branches and I don't like rank. Like uh, he really focused on like how limited the ranks were out of the branches. And like, you really had to work command and like chain, uh, chain of command. Sure. And uh, like basically the top three branches all had kernels leading them. So like you kind of had to request things and stuff like that. So like that early, that early segment in the book where, He's trying to decide, or he's trying to figure out what happened to this missing soldier, and he's hitting all these roadblocks. I was like, "Damn, like I'm liking this." Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. it was. I mean, yeah, that was like the yeah. third chapter. So I was like, "Oh, it's yeah. really nice that he's not like being just like given everything." Like I thought it was mm-hmm. going to be like, "Okay, we go here and we talk to this person, we go here." Yeah, he really it was nice things to already. have all the roadblocks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I've I've heard from many people that the, the army is like the biggest bureaucracy there is. Yeah, who the military is because it is all like that. Like everyone's all yeah. in command, and they don't like necessarily answer to each other. And even right. if they're working on the same side per se, they don't have to do anything for you. Right? Why would I help you? Yeah, and like and they're all like, not all of them in this book, but like they all have their actually for the most part. Yeah, they're all like looking after their own career and make sure things don't look bad on them. And right, uh, so like they all help, but to a certain extent to like you know to save face, but. Uh, like for me, that yeah. was super uh, super engaging to me. It was when I pictured it more like a noir, like detective book. I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh yeah, um, yeah exactly." When I, when I got Absolutely. that flavor, and he's like, oh, "I'm mm-hmm. gonna solve this case." Damn the bureaucracy! <laughs> That's what I was thinking too, because I was like, "Ah, oh, yay, another space, space something." Guy. You know, I was like, "More space." But wait, 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 wait. You guys, you guys don't like space theme books? No, I, I don't mind them. Books. I just like to me. Sometimes they all kind of start feeling like it's almost the same thing. Like at least the TV uh-huh. shows, not necessarily the books we've read in book club. Halo TV way. shows are bad. But yeah, the TV shows tend to be very similar. Uh huh. So when I started Three. reading this, I was like, oh, it's actually more of like a, like a political, like conversational, yeah. like miss, like mystery novel like yeah. in a sense like that i was like oh that's actually really pretty that's pretty it's, cool it so barely brings up that it's in space, space. you hate it <laughs> <laughs> what has space I, done to you i know it is gonna be very awkward when i announce the next book <laughs> <laughs> next book it's all about space space Mr. what space is it man. it's everywhere <laughs> The book's empty. You just draw on it. All the all the planets and everything about them. You know, you, um, you know what? Something I did like about this book is that uh, even though this book took place in the future, it could have fit in now. Nothing yeah, I was gonna say. Is like yeah. it never like shoved it in your face. 
Yeah, it, yeah besides like, the whole thing of like hover tanks and shit like that, but like as far as like struggles well, that's, that's just, and things they gotta deal with, it's all day to day stuff. Yeah, he doesn't he like doesn't rely on like trap like oh like the the guided trap. bullets. Yeah, guided. oh that was cool. Definitely. He yeah. doesn't. He, he he doesn't go like we're in we're space in the future. What more of a story do you want, man? Right. Uh, that's yeah. that's yeah. just the that's just the seasoning, the broth that it's in. It's not the whole um it's not the yeah. whole meal. Like, I like really appreciated the whole like what kind of gun you got, Mac, and he was and repping the bitch, you know. And I was like, oh yeah, the and bitch. they talk about that, and I'm like, yeah, like that's so accurate. Like all the guys that are like into shooting or military, or whatever they're like. I you could get like some new hotness, whatever, but like this thing works and it works every time. So I'm gonna stick with this. You know, it's reliable, yeah. and that's the most important yeah. thing. I'm like, not so, getting like, the new shit surrounding guns. Right. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah. And I had enough like futuristic like ammunition, like the tracer round or not the tracer, the the guided rounds and the, the explosive, explosive rounds. rounds. Yeah. And um, although he does say clip when he should have said mag. But other than that, oh my, shut up, funny. Abraham! Get yeah, out of here. doing it. I'm that, that guy. Shit all the time. No, he's in the future. Who cares? Exactly. That's, <laughs> that's fair. It could be in the future that they're called clips. Could be. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. It could be internal. Uh, no, I don't think it was. <laughs> yep. <laughs> totally <laughs> internal, baby. Have you been to space, Seth? Uh, yeah, exactly. What are you Ooh, fucking that's, space? You got me. Yeah. Doctor Space over here. I, I'm a I'm a space purist, guys. Please. Oh, were you on that <laughs> ship with Elon? Uh, <laughs> Ooh, nah, I'm in the Tesla floating in space, dude. Loving it. Uh huh. Loving uh -huh. it. Excellent. Now, say something else, Seth. Something else. <laughs> something else. Well, you know, actually, I wanted to also say, I think, like, so, right, like, immediately I was pretty interested, but I think the one part that was like, was when um they were supposed to meet up for that meeting with the, the girl at the bar. Oh, and then yeah. next thing you know, she's like in Cairo, and I was like, "Oh shit! Like this is like some kind of shit going down." And then obviously the other shit goes down too, you know. I'm like, you know, it's very all the like uh like one like the people manipulating the other people. I was just like really like holy. That's what happened to Susie? Uh, she doesn't work here anymore. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh. And then the other stuff was like obviously like the fight with the guy. Um, and he's like, I'm gonna take his leg out, and he like misses. And I was like, Oh shit, that's crazy. And then when Mac is like, Yo, he was way too fast. I was like, Oh shit, that's crazy. Because it's like, ah, he could just be an old guy that's just like lost his touch. But then. Mac like literally misses him with a guided bullet, and I was like, "Oh damn, we're talking about something now." So those are probably yeah, like yeah, my we, got, we got some, we got a mystery afoot. Yeah, yeah. I think they just use the yeah. guided to be like, "Oh, like to show you, like, oh, they're not just like kind of fast. They're like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really, true. yeah, they're dumb fast, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> it seemed like well." Good thing we someone invented guided bullets so they can still get Dutch. <laughs> yeah. So um so throughout his journey he meets a couple of characters, correct? And um who's your favorite character and why? Or who is your least favorite character and why? Brian, we'll start with you. Um, you know, I'm not great with names. To be I honest. have all the names here. Just, just tell me. What, Abraham, you have Perfect. all the names written down. Yeah, I got I know, all I the names written person. down. That oh, what, well, to be you. fair, that yeah. are important to the story. Like we have Colonel yeah. Butler, we have uh, yeah. Colonel Sterling, yeah. uh, Colonel Elliot uh, of oh, Med oh, Command, oh, uh, Sterling of Space Command, um, and we have Colonel Karivakov. Kari I don't know, some Russian well, guy. Karakov. Karakov. Yeah. yeah. Karakov. Uh, yeah. He was pretty cool. Uh, we got Plaz, the reporter. The reporter. We have yeah. Lex, mm -hmm. the uh, intelligence yeah, officer. Almer Almerida. Al Al Almerida. Alunda. Uh, we got under under Butler himself. We have Mac and Hardy. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy that they needed uh, the rescue is what? Mallet. Mal Mallet. 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 Yeah, Mallet. Yeah. Mallet. Mallet. And uh, you know Sharon, yeah, his with wife. Two G's. You didn't even. So who are you talking oh, about, what, Brian? what about Serata? You didn't even talk about Serata. Serata. Oh yeah, Serata. 
Which one's Serrata again? That's, that's the, the main general. guy. What do you mean? The fucking general. Oh, sorry, yes. I have it here. I have it here. General Serrata. There he is. He's on the top of the paper. <laughs> My hand is covering this quest. <laughs> and General Serrata, of course. Uh, and, you know, of course, of course, of course. The, obviously, there are other characters in the, in the book, but they weren't as, you know, important. Not, his wife. They're not that important. You know, Christina. His wife was a trooper. She's like, oh, yeah, he's yeah. like, I gotta leave. She's like, I get it. We even and they're like, we're not gonna say bye in public because you know that's embarrassing. <laughs> Hope you we don't, don't die though. Sex in front of everyone. So, so uh, what character are you talking about, Brian? <sighs> it it's gotta be. I want to say the guy who who got hurt and then was like, Hardy? I want to do physical therapy, but I also oh, want to Hardy, yeah. yeah, Hardy, yeah. <laughs> Lieutenant Hardy. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like that was some good fighting. Uh, and. Let me just talk to her for a while, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be back later in the book. And when Butler had a cock block and like, hey, no, no, get my boy out of there because yeah. I don't trust them medical dudes or chicks in this case. And that one-on-one conversation, he's like, I, he's like, I know from experience you're going to hit on that chick. And it's going to be great. <laughs> and you shouldn't, but you're still going to. And then he, they like fist bump, I guess. Yeah, no, no, and I'm only telling he's you like, this so I like, can call you a dumbass later and not feel bad about it. Well, yeah, because he was like, you can, it's okay to like flirt, whatever, but it's like he's like, you're gonna try to have physical therapy. Blow your, your, your uh, leg muscles. Hip out again. <laughs> you blow your hip out in the fish. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, that's your favorite character. A side character. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the reasons so, are your own. Just respect the guy who's. Even with you know one leg down, he's uh he's Sit still down, his leg. <laughs> he's trying to make up with his third leg. I get it. <laughs> he's learned to walk. <laughs> so space. <laughs> Alrighty. Wait, space. I mean, robot dick. Is that gonna? Would that be a thing? Uh, yes. Well, well, in in this universe, uh, you have to choose really wisely on which part of you you want to replace because you can only yeah, you can only you'll replace one. like one i feel like that's and... like hella important though it, and it's yeah. really it's really, really traumatic <laughs> yeah oh, like yeah. not can easy you imagine your... going back to the moment you lost your <laughs> like, like every time you go unconscious you have that chance holy oh, shit God. that's pretty crazy I, I don't know if it'd be worth it <laughs> um <sighs> I, and, I and there's, it a, there's a chance. Well, there's a chance it doesn't work right because nobody even says his foot sometimes doesn't work right. Yeah, yeah like you gotta, you gotta really yeah, uh, you know, train. Uh, uh, but I feel like he got like the old version, and I feel like they've said something about it being easier nowadays. Well, that's no, uh, part, of the, you know, part of the part of the conspiracy. Mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, exactly. uh, but I mean, there might be some people not abducting you that actually are better at it now. I mean, I'm sure he got it done was, once I mean, and was like, "I'm never doing this again." You know. Elliot was like the foremost person in that field. If she hasn't figured it out without having to like hijack people, no one has. Uh, yeah. Well, she said that. So like, Kar- Karakov was like the one, of, like the first person, right? Yeah. And then she did it. Yeah. And then it looked like later on, like she really did actually start figuring it out more. But they still were getting like fucked up in a way, or like not living as long or something. Like but they're going crazy. Yeah. So they can self heal. So if I get an alien right. penis, it'll just keep nice. fit. Yes. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but so like, like a week straight, right? They have like gross nice. fingers and gross faces. Uh, well, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I don't the, know if it's a good, like good trade off. Yeah. What oh, if they got gross Not too? replacing those parts. Oh, right. What if it's they're not packing meat? Yeah, because yeah, exactly. like, what, yeah. what if they're packing no meat? Oh, yeah, yeah, like you god. don't know what the procedure changed about you. Like it changed <laughs> yeah, your exactly. eyes. Yeah, like, it's uh, pretty intense to change your literal eyes. Like, like just apparently, not. Bro. Makes, them, makes them taller, I think. Is that what they were saying? Oh, they yeah, definitely I thought beefier. they were shorter. I thought they were just beefier, yeah. Well, the well, the oh, the guy, the guy who attacked uh, Butler on the on the um, spaceship was tall. That's why he was like. But that wasn't was a tall um, dude. One of those yeah. guys. He was a fast guy. He was a human. No, he was. A, he was one of the hybrids. Yeah, he was one of the hybrids. I mean, if he does, like, the, the, the hybrids still like, look yeah. humanoid. It's just different in no, the eyes said, and such. I thought the fast ones were the full human ones, and then no, they then they no. had the hybrid. No, 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 hybrids like, all, were the fastest ones. Yeah, uh, like everything that moved fast or moved strong, uh, moved strong or was strong. Um, I moved strong. They, 
they went through the procedure. They went through okay, the procedure so we just and got be like this. Yeah, they got the DNA infused. Because I think the guy, okay. the guy who attacked him, was wearing sunglasses, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, yeah, he had his eyes covered. You're right. Because they don't want to show that those. Yeah. Imagine that winking at you across the bar. <gasps> oh, wink. <laughs> uh, uh, gross. So basically, they have they have what giant cat eyes, basically. Uh, I know. Like I thought they were like, like oblongs. I don't know. Cat eyes. So they were oval shaped. Yeah, oval yeah. shaped. So I, I thought like that, a cat though. I thought that just because they were they were underground that they weren't like you know when like oh. a cat's inside their eyes are fat and huge, but when they're like I don't into okay, light, you get cat as much you get, as you, you, guys. Get, you get the cat yeah. eye slits. You know, or, or you know what a cat eye looks like though. Everyone does. Uh, uh, you guys hanging out with cats don't watch Iron Man. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Wait, Jose, you still haven't answered. What's your favorite or least favorite character? I still haven't answered. You guys were still talking. Yeah, like I'm only talking, Brian's yeah. answered. Yeah. So by, it, by all means, so since you here's the tea. Me. Someone hit it out of the park. Brian loved all the characters. He didn't hate yeah. anyone. He so. didn't hate any. Not a single one. There wasn't not one that was super annoying. That's fair. No, I, I I have no agree with that statement. Th- I don't really have. Can't a, think of any that made character. me go, ugh. We kind of lean in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Raquel, you're 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 that eating great. that robot. Just, like, just connected. Raquel, you're doing it again. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Solid. I must have been lying in a weird position. I, I got too laying, comfy. Are you laying down? Don't judge me. Oh, I'm we're judging. Dead. God, woman. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have two hands like, on this mic, comfy. woman. <laughs> 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 so um. Yeah, Lex kind of bothered me a little bit. I kind of felt like she was like, you know, she got shit done at the beginning, but I can't lie, those comments at the end of the book, like, I was already suspicious, like, throughout, but then when he made those two comments at the end, like, hmm, I don't remember telling her that, I started Mm -hmm, being mm -hmm. like, hmm, yeah, maybe she's been, like, fucking a part of, like, setting all this shit up, you know, and it just started making me piss get pissed off by her even more like i already what part was, was like that? At uh, the when end she's, where... she comes up from the she he, butler comes up from the planet and he's debriefing lex about what happened and she says something that he hasn't he hadn't told her yet yeah yeah i remember um, that but uh he brushes but... it off he doesn't he doesn't really get into it yeah he says like i don't remember telling her that but it's probably because uh, i'm tired or something yeah, but yeah. what was uh, what was the thing? She was she was looking into the mining, right? And she was like, "Oh, so the places where Karakov said that like this is done, right?" And he was like, "I never told her about my conversation with Karakov." Yeah, it was something like that. Mm. I I just I just assumed he, he she had heard it from Sterling, right? Yeah. But it was wasn't was... like he debriefed Sterling and then he de- he debriefed like... Sterling first, and then he went to go talk yeah. to Lex about it. And that she knew yeah. some stuff that so like it yeah like yeah I don't I don't think he I don't think she ever betrayed his trust obviously like um because like for me it's the opposite I I actually like Lux I, I think like she that she betrayed was Sterling more than anything yeah she definitely bet- like uh started towards the end like leaning towards uh look at my list uh Butler <laughs> and his name's um... Carl the picture is just <laughs> dread <Abraham. laughs> why do you think I have on? a list of swings I'm bad with names. He's the main guy. Just, yeah. I, I, mm-hmm. Just yeah. Scroll the girl. down. Carl. 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 Uh, I actually enjoyed Lex and how she, uh, I don't know, grew closer to done. him towards the end. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, well, uh, so how... I. No, go on. No, no. By all means. Uh, it... I, I guess I just felt like you know it's so easy to like play that whole thing like I want to be. In... I want to do this and that, you know, like I am on your side. It's so easy. Yeah. Like to like help them to the extent where they earn your trust, you know, and he made that decision. But then in the end, it looked like, like a a few people he like actually trusted kind of set him up. You know what I mean? So it's like, like, um, yeah. Yeah. No, I got the sense that like she was one of those people like Lex, you know, did right by him by the end. And uh, the only reason he pushed her away towards the end is because he was about to make a decision that no one needed to be a part of. He's about to bomb yeah. that ass. Mm-hmm. But take that planet to Pound Town. <laughs> I appreciated how they didn't try to bang. It was just like it didn't have to be like, oh, 
I'm yeah. gonna miss you. Like oh, they, 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 they got that out of the way. Relationship. Early. He's happily yeah. married to a woman. I know, I know. But much. still, it, I was a things happen in space. Five. That is things true. Do space. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I think Mass um, Effect had a big influence on that. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. my, my favorite, favorite character. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no wait, one hates. Sorry, no one hates anybody. <laughs> wait, Raquel, I thought you you didn't say it yet. Oh yeah, she I hated. Oh yeah, she said. Favorite. Oh, you're yeah. right. I'm sorry. You did backwards. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, Go ahead. It's okay. That's how I do. You know, bad bad you're right. news first. You know. You're absolutely right. Yeah. And then favorite would probably be Mac. I loved Mac him. Cool. I thought he yeah, was like hella right. legit. And then Mac's um, a guy's guy. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was, he's like an all around, like, get it kind of person, you know. And then Plaza is also pretty cool, but yeah, probably Mac would be like my all time for the book as a side character. Okay, Uh let's play. Is it my turn now, Raquel? Oh, yeah, one more. You back up. (laughs) (laughs) The second thing I like about Mac. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Favorite, definitely Butler, uh, hated probably Elliot versus comma slash Sterling. I was kind of waiting for their, for them to get their comeuppance. And, I mean, and uh, Elliot got it, but Sterling didn't. Oh, yeah, Elliot didn't. But uh, that's just kind of the way the military goes, so I'm not really upset about it. And, you know, there's, there's two more books. He still could there's be. There's two more books. Are, are, are there any of the other books about him, or is it different people? It's, it's, we don't know. It's, I think this is a trilogy. I know. Yeah, no, it's definitely a trilogy, but I haven't looked but, into the other books. But it doesn't mean oh, that the other, other, right. story, other books follow him. It, it can be, be like, else. remember that day uh, I, Carl, Colonel that Mustard one. lit Colonel, it up. You remember, that, <laughs> you remember that guy that went to the to the space ward because, you know, he was crazy for saying space that war. shit? It's his story. Yeah. Space war. Space war. Space war. Space war. Uh, nope, it's a direct sequel. Really? Oh, so yeah. Paul, Paul's Butler still? Yep. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, That's good I was going to the prison in space. Oh, no, so all right. Avatar oh, style. Is it the next one, like, him trying to, like... Well, he can't clear his be, name because like, he did it. <laughs> he, 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 no, but, like, he can, he, can, he can justify it and, like, um, yeah. obviously, you know... Well, we'll get into that later, but... Oh, so yeah, yeah, your yeah, favorite, yeah. favorite character like, now? Butler? Oh yeah, well, Butler and oh yeah, how do you not like Butler? Oh, no, no, I, I love Butler and I love their relationship no, yeah. that Butler had with the uh, Serata and their little back yeah. and forth between yeah. the, like the messagings and everything. Like you can tell, like their friendship was, you know, strong. Yeah. Like yeah. they've been through shit together, and like ultimately at the end, it's like you know, take care of Sharon. And he's like, he replied with one word, of course, or no, uh, always. always, always. And you um, think uh, you think Serata set him up? You think he was a setup, or he, or, um, did he actually? Because he kind of he kind of hints that maybe he was getting set up by Serata. Yeah, yeah, towards the end, but like I think, I think Serata, I think or at least for me, I think Serata deep down knew that he would handle the situation the best way he thought. Like he, I don't think he necessarily understood the outcome. Yeah, like especially he only sent him in for one simple task, right? The the book starts with one task find this missing person right right i i, then, I yeah, go, 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 go. so like there's no way he could set him up to make that decision knowing that he just sent him in for a missing person I, well just that i i the way that he when he at the end he's kind of summarizing everything up it kind of seems that serata knew more than what he let on yeah. and he suspected something big was That's going true. on um otherwise he would have just kept pressuring um uh sterling I guess, but it it just yeah. seems like he knew that yeah you're here to go for a missing persons, but there's something else fishy going on, and I need you to go and like get it out. Like I, I lean away from the setup uh-huh. uh, angle. I I lean more towards he knew that he could handle it and he could make that right. decision free from career. Like because uh, Sterling was definitely like a career military yeah. guy, right? Yeah, afraid uh, afraid to do anything. Exactly, and like he doesn't want anything to look badly on him. Where as Butler doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, he's been out of the game. Or, not that he doesn't give a fuck. He just like he's at the end of his career. He's a dead end colonel. Like, they like he's not trying to go for promotion. So whatever decision he had makes, like it kind of ends with him. Like, and he can make those tough calls because he's not worried about where he's gonna be. 
So you know, let's say Sterling or Serrata knew. Let's say Serrata knew. Let's say Serrata knew. Hmm? I think he knew more that like he would handle it, and he would get it done. I see. And so like I, I don't I don't see the whole it's sabotage I, thing, but I guess it, we'll find out in the second book. When we... That's true. Well, the, the, I... the, the reason the reason why I ask is because him giving him Serrata giving Butler full control over everything, and mm-hmm. then telling Sterling about it. It just seems like it's it seemed a little backhanded or a little shady, um, because he because yeah. then he 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 posts that big thing that that basically like so that it seems like he was getting it set up to be the fall guy, to oh, be the one, um, yeah, to push the, push the button, which he did happily. I mean, he he fucking punched those coordinates in, mm-hmm. and he hit him with what X forty fives, X twenty fives, X B twenty fives, X Bs twenty fives. Which are the fusion big, bombs, planet bus, planet busters, planet busters. Yeah. Ooh, like, um, uh, if you like, reread the the conversation that he has, that Butler has with Sterling, like the first conversation when he arrives, you kind of realize that there's like they're pretty much giving you the story with all the holes, like, and you can even see it when you read it now, like, oh wow, that's a lot of holes that could have been filled like immediately that these people like know about and they're leaving out and i feel like the fact that elliot at the end was like i'm not the only one kind of gave me the idea that like i think serata did know about this and kind of needed to just like end the war and that's why he wanted someone else politically connected so that he could you know do it Or like he, you, you think he kind of knew what was going on, and he needed someone to clean it up to to nip it in the bud. So we, that's why he sent out. Yeah, Butler like I don't think lit. he was like malicious in a sense. Like, yeah. Raquel, you know, go to the oh, square. Oh, damn it! Stay, stay up. I'm sorry. I get so comfy. Um, oh, I don't think that like he maliciously like planned to have his friend, you know, blow up a planet and. Well, I mean, not the whole planet, I don't think. I mean, a part of the planet. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They they got you a know. brand new geyser that they didn't know they needed. Yeah. Like, whoa, hey, so like, oh. how long has this basin been here? It's oh, filling up with water. Like... Though. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. I mean, let's be real. Like that that planet sucks anyway. So, like, who cares? Right. Oh my god. Get out of here. Genocide is not. <laughs> oh well, genocide. Like he blew. Uh, okay, uh... so he for sure blew up some mines, right? He blew yeah. up the mines, definitely. There were eleven mines that they had um, figured out that had bombs in them or, or some type of weapons in them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming at the, at the minimum he collapsed all eleven mines. Yeah, Good. like he didn't destroy the planet per se, and he didn't kill the entire population, but he definitely yeah. he devastated. The, yeah, but I mean, devastated. bro, they were saying that there could have been millions underneath the, in those mines. No, for sure. Mm. That all that that they didn't realize that they were like a uh, subterranean race of people, and oh, so wow. yeah, he 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 fucked those boys up. Shook right. the ant hill, yeah. At the, at the very least, at the very least, uh, he killed at least forty thousand people. If we if we go by how many people were armed, and yeah. if those if those if you consider those military bases. Like that's a rough estimate of how many how many people he murdered. Yeah, that's that was just that was, that was that was just big. weapons that they sent. That's correct. Yeah, like yeah. right. Well, so they they that figured was... that that e- I mean each each person's gonna get at least one weapon. So that's you know forty k people, forty k aliens with yeah. weapons. And if those were being treated as military bases, they were either in or around those holes. So you know, and I that's guess not like, a, the reason that, I thought okay. of genocide is because he says at the end like rescue yeah. twice. Probably I mean, genocide. They'll figure out the trouble. Forty thousand people. That's a lot of people. Lot of yeah, people. like, and obviously, I think hundreds of thousands of people died in that. Attack. Yeah. Probably. Oh, yeah. We well, you, f- you have to figure out all the support. What is it for every one person fighting on the front lines? There's like three people supporting them. Yeah. Yeah. Logistics and like they they had you know air control, so they had like like I'm I'm sure not all these locations were military bases. They were definitely sure. secret. Uh, they were using these locations to build either ships or weapons, at, which either which you know they can't have and uh yeah. I, like, I, like, I, I, I like that the reasoning is like they get off planet they're just become space terrorists and we can't let that happen 
Yeah, yeah like uh, it definitely would have been a little bit more problematic for humans to deal with this new, you know, threat. Uh, so that actually kind of leads me to another question I had. What would, like, if you were to come and arrive to this situation, what do you think he could have done differently? Or was he fucked from the beginning? Or by the time he got there, was everything already too uh, too far ahead? Like, it was already set in motion to a point where he couldn't, uh, by himself, essentially, overturn what the, the direction everything was heading in. Uh, yes. Yeah. Too yeah, I agree. Gone. I agree as well. He- <laughs> yes, like, yes, I, like <laughs> indubitably, yeah, yes, like, yes, indubitably. He, like, like the book could have literally cut out like all that shit he did, and still ended the same way. Like, I'm, I'm glad he didn't do that. Obviously, like, I enjoyed the story. Yeah, development. But like, he definitely got yeah. into a fuck situation, <laughs> and like, he just had to make the call at the end. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, like, to prune it. So, if you guys think why... he could done done anything differently? I'd like to know, but I, I don't think he. he, does. he, he mentions he... it. Yeah, he does mention at the end. He's like, I could have been nicer to Elliot. I could have worked the Sterling a little better to get more information. Yeah. But I don't I honestly don't think that would have changed anything. Because even at the end, Elliot, Elliot still thought she was in the right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, I can, fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. And he's like, no, you you can't. This is so unethical. He's like, I, I don't know. I got it. I got it. I got it. Mm-hmm. It's all good. <laughs> like, yeah, go ahead, Brian. No, it's just splicing DNA. Made me think of a next yeah. Netflix show. Um, yeah, no, it was pretty fucked. And he just was like, well, if no one's made enough to flip this table over, start, restart the game, I'll do. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, he had to, he had to learn why he needed to press that button. Yeah. Sure. If, because if the order was, yo, just bomb these mines and don't worry about what's in there, like, which could have been, you know, it could have been the yeah. thing, but... But that order, if if he wouldn't have stepped in, that order would have came in too late. Way too late. Way too late. And if he would have gone through the proper channels, it would have been, you know, months before they they would have even thought about, you know, pressing the button or whatever. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of money, a lot of money in those mines. So clearly that you know, they're they're not they never would have they never would have agreed to it. Yeah. yeah, I think they would have just like pushed the war to like, you know, trying to get rid of the shit that to blow them up <laughs> or whatever i don't think they would have actually blown up the mines no and like everything that they were literally there for in the first place exactly is it oh, also I... kind of like super unethical to think like hey now they have this ability to protect their planet and to travel like we do and um the only reason we were here was to steal their 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 planet's Silver. minerals Silver, yeah. Um, and now we're uh, just gonna blow them up because we don't want them to leave their planet. Bill, are you saying you didn't yeah. like the movie Dune? <laughs> I don't remember Dune. It's been a long time. Um, the new one like... on HBO Max? Hey, no, I didn't see that one. Start your free trial now. Stop <laughs> it. Um, well, if if you go by uh, Star Trek reasoning, they have like a of no contamination of uh, any species they come across. Yeah. So you're not, you know what I mean. Uh, Truthfully, I mean, if if you want to go down that that rabbit hole, they never should have went to that planet to begin with. I was gonna say right. that, that only works if we weren't the reason they could do all yeah. that stuff. If they just exactly. figured it out, we can't slap it out of their hands. And be like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah. back to smashing rocks. But... We were, I mean, we yeah, exactly. We 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 pushed them hundreds of thousands, of, hundreds of years into the future of technology. Uh, it is it is probably our responsibility on how they use it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I. The only thing I kind of wish about this book is that we got a little bit more of the inner workings of the alien life forms, the uh, yeah. Capians, because it seems like they 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 found themselves in this situation and definitely took advantage of the situation. Like the like the, the people, the humans that went down there, saw them as lesser, and even though they were intelligent beings that could communicate, and like yeah, they didn't have the ability to to space travel but they did they like they were at a point where they could fly within the interior of the planet right um so like that dumb we yeah yeah they weren't that dumb they were like just like like look at humans today like we have smart humans and we can fly and we're just on the cusp of like space travel right yeah i'm sure they have their einstein and their uh nikola tesla (laughs) 
uh, alien, <laughs> alien Einstein. Come on, Abraham. <laughs> Ridiculous. They were mean. No, no. They deserve to get bombed. Oh my god. Hmm. Wait, no, but like in a book. Now let's talk about <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> let's. See. So, you know how the movie? He's like, I never seen oh, it. I. That's why. Great bitch. I great, great can't movie. be friends with you anymore, but besides that, um, so this book clubs over I'm gonna we'll... spoil this movie that's like over a decade oh, old. You, you mean so. when they go to a planet to, to, to get the super uh dangerous space rocks? Unatanium. They couldn't, yeah. they couldn't <laughs> name it anything else. Unatanium. Can't is it hard to, is that oh. hard to get? Uh, no, there's no, no, it's just underneath the tree. That oh, special yeah, yeah. tree. Stupid. So, that's what makes the rocks you know, float. That's, yeah. yeah, so that's like, uh, you know how like he's like, in, in Avatar, he's like, now that he's a blue person, or, you know, Navi or whatever, wow. he's like, <laughs> he's like part of the culture and everything, he's like, I see now, like, I see it, right? Yeah. He, then fucking Mallet's like, no, you need to do this so that you can see it, so you can understand, right. and I'm like, uh-huh, very Avatar. Yeah, no. I you don't definitely know watch Avatar. Heard. Yeah, like, I, I that's what, like, I kind of want to, like, wish I knew what was driving them crazy. Like, what? Like, yeah, okay. they went through the procedure. Okay. Did it, like... I mean, you take too, <sighs> like, you take too much steroids, you're, you're bound to throw someone through a glass window. So I think it's just kind of the same thing. No, for, for no, sure. I but, like, like, how do you how do you fall in line to their logic, to their uh, yeah. ideology, like... Like your memories are still yours, your experiences are still still yours. All you're doing is maybe changing your like your brain chemistry and stuff like that. But like to like like it seems like everyone that goes through this procedure like automatically starts supporting the alien life. Like what's in their what's in their yeah. genetics that like like obviously they don't have human genetics. Maybe they can pass down memories through genetics, but we don't know that we don't we didn't explore I, the. Uh, you know, I think you just. I have like a tiny theory. Yeah, go ahead, Rico. And I feel like it has to do with the eyes. Like you know how like they get that the stuff done and then it's like you can see it now or like now you can understand. It's like what's the one thing that like obviously changes about you? Their eyes, right? And also obviously the the speed and all that stuff. But like imagine if the, the world looks different after they have that procedure done. Like they literally see the planet differently and they're like, "Fuck, we're really fucking up the planet." by doing Ooh. this or whatever you know yeah, they're really gonna hate the end of the book then <laughs> you know that's um, kind of like one theory a I was kinda... desert planet why like, it's like, a like, desert pl- it's hot but it they were in the desert, desert region for sure yeah desert but it wasn't yeah. Desert it's just on one planet. zone it has yeah. other zones it has other zones. like mario it's not star yeah. wars where like one topical uh, one planet. feature that's covers a whole planet there. that's not yeah. what he said that's not the way he made it sound like no, like, to, like no, he's he like a, the region yeah. that we inhabited where all the mines were was this like desert area, but like yeah. they did go into the forest. Yeah. No, it was there were forests. There were forest ass forest. forest. trees. Trees, yeah. No, oh, but it was because they were still in that area. They were yeah, only running gross. like a few miles away. Whole place is gross. Oh. Bomb all of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I don't know. Like it could it could have been like the the alien species had like a hive mind that they didn't like anticipate. And right. uh, like a oh like that's a, true like a very subconscious hive mind that like influenced your thought crazy. and made made everyone like like we don't know like like if they're underground like civilization like they could be more akin to like bugs where like yeah. uh, bees have that hive mind mentality ants have that hive hive mind mentality so it could have been like something like that but I, I kind of wish yeah I kind of wish they explored <gasps> yeah. more of the aliens. I, but I, I also like kind of like that we were to. kept in the dark. Uh, yeah. What what if what if that uh, if they oh, leave, no. they lose their super juice? You know they don't get their hits anymore because it sounds no, like because the end, he was on the space no, no, at, station. At the end, Ali- Elliot was like, "I'm here for the regulars," and then she sees Butler, and and he, he's like, "You're not doing any of the regulars procedures today. You're doing a new a new patient." So I think they have to com- continue getting these like treatments. I don't. I, I don't think you just get. To oh yeah, they're still in you know the trial stages. That's what I'm saying. So may, may, maybe that's why when you 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 get the super up juice, you know, you get your big strong powers. Mm-hmm. You can't just walk away from that because now you're superhuman. Maybe it's a thing. Uh-huh. Maybe it's just like I'm strong now. Shooting up. I mean, the guy the guy had two two of his legs blown off, and he was running out running bullets. So like that's got to be pretty 
fucking addicting. You wouldn't yeah. want to give that up. That was yeah. pretty awesome. You're right. He was like leaping like fucking two stories into the air. I know. Mm-hmm. It, was a, it was a good image. Imagery. Yeah. Actually, that's the one thing I do want to compliment about the book is like, I didn't feel like he was like, the walls are gray and melting into yeah. the wind. You know, like I didn't, he wasn't like weirdly descriptive, but I always felt like I knew what the place oh, looked yeah. like that he was at. Right. Like I always knew where he was and what it, everything was like. Yeah, from the space okay. station to planet yeah. side to the being yeah. inside the buildings, like, and like the feelings too, like yeah. yeah, like talking about like the heat or talking about like just like these little descriptions that didn't feel like they were. He was trying, like spending a whole paragraph to explain yeah. it. Like I didn't even recognize that I was like reading descriptions. <laughs> when he's, when he's, he's having his flashbacks and he's like, "I'm on Pola," and he's like, "Wait a minute, the air's not red. I'm not on Pola." And yeah. it's just like, oh, like, nice. How that's are they nice, already having nice mental up? image? Like, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So good. But I, I, did, it, uh, it, I did appreciate... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, it, it, it's it's his, like, short military style that he's written. Like, it's short, it's to the point, it's mm-hmm. yeah. not overly flowery. Um, and even in the way, like, the characters talk to each other, it's very, like, to the point. Um not a lot of bullshit dialogue you have to wade through that just pisses you off because it's a military base right they're not they're not going to just start chatting it up especially when a superior officer is drilling you it's like yes sir no sir this is what happened this is what you know and this is where i was and that's Mm -hmm. it you know yeah it it probably makes sense because he is a retired the guy who wrote the book is a retired army officer yeah i was gonna bring that up yeah there's uh... definitely there's no way he wasn't yeah. It, would, it would surprise me if he wasn't any military. At <laughs> he all. just nailed it. Yeah, he's like, damn, this guy's good. <laughs> yeah, he, he does a good job. Like, I've obviously, I've never served. I don't know what it is to be like in the military, but my idea of the military, uh, he, like, he fucking nails it. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, like, uh, he has a master's in military history. Jesus, that's yeah, pretty, yeah. that's super. Like, that's real technical stuff. Yeah, so it definitely shows. It's an interesting thing to do after retirement. Yeah, that's true. I, I, but I, yeah, I like that. It, it, it does feel like that. It feels like military now in the future, which feels the same as military now. Yeah. Like it, mm-hmm. they're, they're not doing some stupid. He didn't throw in unneedless technology to like explain things away when, like, yeah. realistically, the military probably wouldn't change that much. Like the people interacting with each other. Yeah, years. the culture wouldn't uh, change as much. Throwing hot right. lead to the enemy is going to be king for a long time. Oh, yeah, for sure. And that just is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Like, uh, like that's why, like, they had energy weapons, but, like, throwing yeah. throwing lead at the enemy was just a lot more reliable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, d- uh, I did like that, too. And then did you, did you see that, like, or did you notice when uh, they're in the headquarters and they're getting shelled? Oh yeah, this whole guy's trying to fix his. This whole guy's trying to fix his plasma pistol, putting a really tiny piece in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly what he said in the beginning. He's like, "That's why nobody, like, real people, don't carry it around because that's yeah, I forgot oh, about yeah. that." Oh, and he's like, man. and he's like, he looks over and he's yes, like, "What so guy trying to put a very tiny piece into the firing mechanism?" <laughs> oh yeah. Which is also a thing too, like people like over over engineering guns and yeah. then realizing that that should that shit fucking breaks down in the middle of the field and you need, you don't have like a whole tool bench to fix your Excuse shit. Excuse me guys, I need 35 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't well, that the whole point? I know this is probably, I don't know how many people listening to this would be okay with talking about this, but wasn't that kind of the whole point of what, is it the AK-47 or the R- AR-15 or the other? It's the one that they like made sure to make it like the most simplest gun ever to yeah, use. Yeah. yeah, you're talking about the AK. Like the AK, the AK like, yeah. has like four parts. And, literally, uh, for, it's, it's really, like a, it's really like, easy to literally like a barrel, and yeah. then like yeah. a couple other shit to slap onto it. It's like the yeah. easiest thing to put together, and it may not be super accurate, but it like gets right. the job done for sure. It can be made <laughs> super cheaply, and exactly, yeah, and it's accurate enough. Right. Exactly, it's accurate enough for what you're doing. You know, exactly. I mean, yeah, that, that's why that that's yeah. why like all the communist blocks just copied that fucking gun because they're like, that's it, you figured it out. Yep, exactly. That's, that's as far as we yeah. need to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right Thanks. so uh so like could you guys have made the same decision he did at the end knowing uh, what was at stake i think we know Josue's answer 
I would have flipped that button. <laughs> he would have done it. Twice I would have ex exactly. I would have, I, as soon as, as soon Find as, all the um, got back. As soon as he exactly, as soon as he stepped out of uh, the transport, that's the first thing I would have hit. When he was like, "All right, What's the situation? Nope, zip." Like immediately. But I swear, you're missing one point. You still had a mission to find the dude. So at the very least, you had to wait until you found that dude. No, well, I'm talking when he comes back up from the, the second yeah, time he comes up planet side. Oh, this, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, so you wouldn't have gone through that whole, uh, that whole like you know debriefing and talking to people. It's like, no, 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 no. I run this no, no, shit. No. Sterling, shut the fuck up. Get out of my way. You're fired. I'm boss now. Uh, give me those fighting you're coordinates. Fired. You're, it's all going down. Voom. Give me your Nintendo Switch. I'm the boss. <laughs> I really thought he was just gonna like arrest Elliot or fire her. I didn't expect her to, you know, blow her brains herself. out. Yeah, like her but... whole her whole world fucking collapsed on itself. Like, yeah, I think I, mean, I think yeah. she was finally realizing that there was like there's no Another option. That's it. It's like, over. It, it really like she is fucked up. up so bad. Like, there's no redeeming herself. Like, she was yeah. gonna spend the rest of her life in prison. Well, what yeah. she should have done if she actually, actually held herself accountable for her actions, if she would have been like, "I know that this stuff is happening, and we need to stop it from happening, and so I know what signs to look for, and let's find people that are doing this in other areas." Like, because well, I mean, she knew other stuff was ha yeah. it was happening in other places. She could have been an asset. In some uh, way, sure. yeah. But I, I think what the implication is is that it goes so high up. Like they try to kill Butler on base, which they never, they never actually, you know, tie up that loose end. Yeah. I assume because I think it goes on to the other books. But if they could get in and kill Butler, just like imagine what they could do to her. Oh you know, yeah. Like, especially if it, if it's coming, if that fucker came yeah. from the hospital, so she know she yeah. she would never have been safe. Like that's a good point. There's 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 actually a couple of loose ends that weren't tied up in the in this book. One being who set yeah. off the explosions. We have a we have a right. general idea of uh like who'd be interested in doing that. Right. Also, uh, who was pushing? Like when he wanted to talk to that chick at the club at the K club, like someone pulled the trigger. It could have been a coincidence, sure, but like there's already nah, too many coincidences. Yeah, exactly. Especially by the end, to like think that that wasn't deliberate. So there's someone pulling strings yeah. in the background, and who knows? It could be uh, Serata. It could be, it could be Sterling. Uh, we don't uh, know. Uh, I, I would, I would I would take a chance Serata. that it's that it's somebody we haven't met yet. It's possible, yeah, for sure. It's just because, well, like, who else would be interested in making? Because even it's it. This program didn't start with Elliot. She just rotated into it. Yeah, she yeah, it's, yeah. So exactly. it's it seems that like who else would be interested in making super soldiers, and then that list becomes very like short. Yeah, like uh, obviously that that living geneticist is still alive. He right. would be uh, a key uh, suspect in that regard. So like mm -hmm. I'm interested to see where the second book goes for sure. Um. So what I was saying is my trust with Lex. Is a little bit, a uh, little bit. Uh, you had to, you know. I feel like she could have been involved in that stuff. She knew she about dirty. being in these areas and doing these things, and you know. So she's only one that I feel like, like knew the most about like Butler and where he was going and what he was doing, and also is like the person that like could could she she like knew so many people and had so many ways of getting shit done i felt like it was almost too good you know what i mean like to be fair how... like if, if anyone could do it she could be a like a liaison to someone who's pulling the strings because she was an intelligence officer so she understands yeah. communications and they said like level five security wasn't unhackable it's just really really hard right. and yeah. someone that could do it could have been her and like we like we still don't know who was hacking the system she definitely fits the that's criteria of someone that could do it true that and, damn i didn't uh, think about that that's true this is like, all the stuff <laughs> like everything everything that happened anyone like so like the pushing of the holy shit yeah the pushing yeah. of the of the doctor she could do that mm -hmm. um you know like yeah, just like, giving the idea of him having to go plan like you know she seemed like she she didn't say a lot but she gave him plenty of like like conversations to have him like think you know what i mean yeah 
So that's why I feel like that is the most suspicious Ooh. to me because she wanted to go know. though. She wanted to go planet side. Yeah, but she uh. also could have known him and known that he wasn't gonna let her do it. She also was the kind of person that was up before he was up. She could have very easily just waited by his door and been like, "No, I'm going with you." I mean, you know? but it's it's not like it's a military. She still has to follow so orders. Yeah. yeah, someone says no, your your ass is staying. Well, he's no, he said that she's going. She said no, he, he said didn't. it to her. No. He said yeah. No, he said he said I'll try. Oh, is that what he said? Yeah, basically. Yeah, he's like, but he's like, but I, he's like, I'll, I'll try. But he's like, I, I lied. He's like, you're not gonna go anyway. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. That's a, like when he just, talked to Sterling after that. He's yeah, like, he. Goes, she wants to go. It's like, do you want her to go? No. He's like, yeah, I'm not yeah. taking her. Is what he says. Yeah. Keeping her ass here. It's probably because it's it's because Hardy got his ass blown up that he didn't want to fucking bring anybody else. But ooh, like I, I'm interested to see to see if it does play out into a betrayal in the next book. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 That, like, like, um, because I was also gonna ask, what do you think? Uh, what What do you think is gonna happen with uh, Butler? Like, like when he when he gets when he gets out of uh, cryo in six months? Yeah, because obviously he's gonna be court martialed. Right. Um, absolutely. I mean, law and order. Colony side, right? <laughs> uh, after this. I think Colony Side might be. Oh, it's called Space Side. Space Side. Oh, and then space colony side. side is the third oh, one. Makes... He's already on the third uh, book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe so. You th- maybe they sent him to Space Prison, and that's what the whole fucking second. That's one's what about. I said. Space, space like, Prison. Space. In space. It's like. Uh, isn't that a space jail? Isn't that a space jail? Space jail. Space jail. Space jail. Uh, <laughs> it's called Prison Break in space. Prison. Break. Ooh, in diesel. Not, I like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh, dude. Like. Who knows when he's gonna see his wife? Holy shit! I know. It'd be I know. interesting to see. It'd be interesting I to see Plaza's what he wrote letter. in those letters. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I, I think I think we know what he sent to uh, Flask. Plaz. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> For, <laughs> reporter. Who cares? Wait, wait. What's her first name? She's got a booty. Oh, she um, does. She got that know. ass. She's got that ass. Um, yeah, what is their so, first name? Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the reference? Jennifer. So, Je- anyways, Jennifer. Uh, that's that's not her name. That's um, definitely not it. So it's, we know we, we probably it's it's everything he gave her the story right. That's the only thing he could have given her. Yeah. yeah, but how much? I don't know. I don't know if he gave her he, the whole genetics I think he, thing. I think he gave her the whole thing because he's going to jail. So what does he fucking care? What are you gonna do? Fuck Get the word out there. Court martial I mean, me again? Yeah. I think I though, be. if I can, if I can uh, put a little. Uh, hypothesis out there here's what i think is going to happen right mm-hmm. i think he's going to wake up they're going to pop that top of that uh tupperware container when he gets to uh, uh where he was going he's going to go to jail he's going to go to, they're going to court martial him but that story is going to be huge i think by the time he wakes up i think people will think he's a hero i think it's going to probably maybe lessen uh i i they're probably going to boot either a they're going to they, they can't just boot him out because he's got two more fucking books so he's got to be in the military somehow, still doing, moving and shaking, right? Yeah. He might have yeah. to find some way to redeem himself for sure. Ooh, what if he's like supposed to go, you know, in cryo to this jail, but instead he, someone else. like sneaks him onto a ship and they go like. He comes Avatar. What if the, you, you don't think that you don't think the captains are done with him, or he's got he? Because someone tried to kill him, right? So someone's still got to be trying to kill him. They're not yeah, just gonna yeah. let well, him. Yeah. Because because then because then you figure uh, to your point, Raquel. Because I, now that I, I'm thinking about it, I like it. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't want him to show up for a trial because then he's going to tell things, right? He's going to spill yeah. everything. But then if the story's out, wow, uh-huh. it's tough. I think. I, I think he's gonna, who yeah, believes I think, it? I mean, right. you can write a story. But I mean, she was a good. I mean, she was. She a was a good for space. Reporter. For a space reporter, sure. Yeah. And there's and if all that info that he gave her, there's no way he didn't give her like data. He wouldn't. He, he would give her like something to prove it, yeah. make it all provable. It would be provable. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, what would he say to her that would he? Man. She could use. Yeah, like I because hmm. well, he could have just gave her surface could... level stuff. He could have gave her the whole like maybe that he sees that as his out. Maybe he gave yeah. himself an out with the. Uh, 
with the whole like genetic stuff getting out there and like and uh what's her name did say that there were others she didn't right. necessarily say on that planet that's true. There could be other. Well, that, that's, uh, that, well, that's what. He, that's exactly what he was saying. Was like, he, he, yeah. she. He's like, that those others either could be this planet or it could be out in space. He's like, it's probably out in space. Yeah. Yeah. That was just that. I really thought, like, da, da, da. How angry would people get if they found out that there's like they've been doing genetic testing to find out that if you lose a limb, you can actually just become like super strong and be totally fine with your robot limb. Like, how mad would people get if they found out that they've just really, like, advanced science, you know, in this way? Um, They're also crazy. Like, maybe they wouldn't want people to know about that. Like, he wouldn't want people to know about that necessarily, you know? Like, you you would want the research to get buried so, like, no one else can. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I think people would be upset, I think. Yeah, because uh, it's sounds... well, it's not hurting the people, the aliens. It's literally only hurting the people in the military, and they're the people signing themselves up for it. You know, that's yeah. why she refuses to work on him. She's like, I only do volunteers. It's true, but I mean, ah, uh, that's a that, damn. That's a good question because you feel we. I mean, we've had some like secret government testing on humans here, and every time it comes oh, yeah. to light, people aren't very happy about it. Yeah, but a lot of it, a lot I of mean, it gets brushed under the rug. But to be fair, to well, to be fair, uh, when when no, that stuff happens, nobody blows up a base with four hundred fucking forty thousand people in it. You know what I mean? So it's easier yeah. to sweep that shit under the rug as opposed to when you put a new fucking Grand Canyon into a planet. Yeah, what if Just, someone like plays a story like, oh, he hates war and yeah, decided yeah, to yeah. blow up all the silver and ruin our travel? Yeah, like that's money. that's that's what's gonna get the most yeah resources. Traction, yeah, is that he blew up all that silver. People are gonna yeah. lose their fucking minds. And yeah. now he's oh gonna have like, corporations up his ass. You know what I mean? Or or on top of it, like yeah, yeah, the Pepsi corporation <laughs> complications or, or or repercussions from it. You can't just yeah, blow up. Like... So, okay, wait, 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 wait. think about it. They, they call them planet busters, right? We have weapons yeah. now that we call bunker busters that yeah. up shit that absolutely just destroy plus um, the bunker yeah exactly like, like that moab <laughs> that fucking moab bomb we, we dropped mother of all bombs yeah yeah that it was so powerful that it, it was doing it was literally doing what um what he what he needed to do what those bombs did you would drop yeah. them into really deep bunkers that would go down for hundreds or you know miles or whatever and it would Damn. Kill it would collapse all of them and then it would suck the air out too. So everyone, if everyone was alive in there in pockets, you would be dead anyway. Oof, that's painful. Yeah, exactly. And 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 he and they dropped planet busters. Nice. I mean, just it, 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 it's crazy. Like the, the, I, I, that's, area I just, immediately around yeah, the fact that, like, sites the, were fucked. Yeah, well, like that's even it. Even it kind of puts it more in perspective too. Thinking like this writer knows about yeah that bomb <laughs> like knows that about that really kind weird. of shit and he chose to use the words planet buster yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's just how much more extreme this shit is <laughs> i mean i think they were I, I think the bunker busters like the range they have like how much how big of, of an exp- of uh, impact area is massive it's so yeah. big like that, that thing like it's like approaching like uh small nuclear uh small nuclear bombs i think uh, like the mother of all bombs it's like it's like the biggest conventional bomb that we have and uh mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. It, it does a lot of a lot of damn that's a lot of damage I, that's a lot of damage and i think <laughs> i think the, the only i think the step up from that is like nuclear i think or small yeah. nuclear small nuclear warheads at the tactical very least yeah. for sure yeah tactical nukes absolutely so like i i think it's I mean, who knows? We might be fucking wrong, but I, th- I thought it was the biggest bomb that wasn't nuclear. No, it is. The yeah. mother of all bombs is the biggest, no, it's like, conventional bomb. And, uh... So beautiful. And then we have, like, <laughs> ten of them sitting around okay. for no reason. Yeah, we have a, we have a few of them. Oh, dear God. <laughs> like, one of those can definitely fuck up, like, a, you know, uh, a few city blocks. Like, uh, Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think it can take out a city. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah. we've only dropped one, and it was a big deal when we did it. Yeah, they were pretty mad. Yeah, and that was, yeah, was, that was in the middle of a desert. 
Yeah, that was sick. <clears throat> Hell yeah, you were sick. You Didn't were they sick. say that like the people that they were doing the testing on, like all those soldiers were living in the mines? Like they had their own no. city down there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the, the it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a huge underground network. So that's why they yeah. were like, this is what we built this bomb for. And this is the first time it's going to be deployed against live combatants. So let's do this thing and see what it does. Okay, yeah. Because otherwise it was go down, uh, get into these crazy, like, rabbit hole fights with people. Like, you know, how many people are going to die going down there versus just wipe the whole fucking thing out? Which is exactly what <laughs> Butler did. That's why it's so good. Like, that, it's exactly what the, the military has done the exact same thing he did. Yeah. But like, yeah, he like, knows what that. Was his option? Like, <laughs> there's millions, potentially millions of combatants out there. Uh, yeah, or at I, I want to know millions I, of I, like people that hate your guts. Yeah, yeah. I that, that, that I, I think that's that's the one thing why I want to read the next book to see how big those bombs fuck that planet up. Yeah, yeah. definitely. My curious has been hate. Actually, yeah. a lot of questions not. In, I literally went up to Remy and I was like, "So he was like, how 'How'd you like?'" And I'm like, "I liked it, but also I know nothing." <laughs> no. <laughs> Such an open-ended book. Like, god damn it. <laughs> Oh yeah, how do you guys I, feel about a a one of three book? Do you guys um, feel like you get oh, enough like, of a bite? I'm not mad about it. Yeah, I'm not mad about it at all because this, this story all, was yeah. pretty contained. Like there are yeah. a couple loose threads, but this story took care of itself. Yeah, and I yeah. think it left enough. Like like the main story, yeah, was put a nice little bow on it, but it did leave a couple loose ends that like it's like damn, I, I can't I can't wait how this ties into the next book, and I hope he does tackle like all these little loose ends like who who's trying to kill him and this that and the other and like how big does this little conspiracy go seems like really all of this was was so that serata could get with butler's wife oh shit that that's exactly what i thought when he was (laughs) he was like (laughs) always that that's that's what the thing you have set out smiley face while you're in space jail space jail Nice jail. <laughs> Dude, but she, she's like, I don't know how old uh, Serata is, but like, she's definitely in her 60s, if not older. Because he's, uh, he's definitely. Yeah, right? Uh, well, well it looks like you enlist at 20, right? You enlist at 20, and he's been in the force for 25 years. So he's like 45, like, oh, biologically. Yeah, that's, not that, that's not that old. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think he said he was, well, he's old enough for his kids to have kids. Yeah, that's uh, still in, like, the 40s. So that's 45, 50. Well, cause they say his age, and then she goes, wow, you look great. And he's like, oh, yeah, 13 years in cryo would do that to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I Dang. think it's, like, I think he's supposed to be closer to 60. That's what I thought, but. Well, well, like, maybe late 50s, and you minus 13 years, so really he's, like, you know, 40s, mid-40s. They want him yeah. to be young enough to still do stuff and not be like, my back. Oh, my old bones. Well, he yeah. still did kind of realize, like, when he, they first went yeah. back, that he's like, shit, I'm really not, <laughs> like, well, like, as quick as I was before. Honestly, yeah. he could be, like, 37. Like, okay, so let's say he enlists, sure. he enlists at uh, 20, let's just say. Um, and then he serves for 25 years, minus 13. That puts him at, like, 37. And uh, so, like, yeah, that puts him, you know, older than the young guys, but. Obviously, he could still handle his own. He was walking with a hole in his leg for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he did. He just straight out a piece of shrapnel in his fucking leg. Yeah. And, uh... I, I like... I liked at the end, he was like, I'm not going to the hospital. Fuck that. Yeah, well, yeah. like, I swear, they're trying to kill me. <laughs> I mean, they probably were. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a fair yeah. fucking assessment. Yeah. I guess we could start putting a bow on this. What do you guys think? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Do it. All right, so, do it. Let me just lean so, back. So, uh, how many? Uh, how many planet blusters? Do you ooh, 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 ooh. Abraham, you do it. It's your book. No, no, no. Uh, actually, yeah, oh, you know, you go back. You, you go last. You go last. Raquel, uh, you go first. Right. Yeah, Raquel, you go first. Um, planet blusters. Mm. Yeah. I want to give it like, yeah, like a solid nine, nine planet Pretty blusters. Good. Pretty good. So Pretty nine mines. Wow, so. nine mines. There's, there's so many people in there. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. They'll it. be fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're, they're both aliens. They deserve it. Who cares? They deserved it for protecting their planet and <laughs> their they're, people. That we invaded for their resources. <laughs> they're basically Assholes. like um, 
Avatar uh, dwarves. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Imagine if you're a little kid, right? And someone yeah. gives you this sick ass toy, right? Yeah. And you're like, fuck yeah. yeah, this shit's lit. And then they're like, oh, wait, you know, you can't have that toy. I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think, is that what you I thought think, about? I think it's more like, <laughs> hey, here's this here's this sick car that w- that you can have. And then you take that car and ram it into the nearest uh, human building you can find. And then be like, oh. Right. Uh, oh, because they oh, shot shit. down the planes. Space terrorists. Because they shot down the planes. Okay. Yeah, they were, they were fucking took That's that true. camp hostage. You know what I mean? Well... Technically, wasn't it the people that? No, they were they, like combined they, they, with the captains, or was it no, the captains themselves? It was the captains. They were saying that, that's what he was saying. That's he's right. like, I'm not, he, he, uh, Mallet said it. He's like, I'm not in charge here. It's the captains, right? Oh yeah, I, guess I don't really gonna... control them. He's like, that's all them. Damn, that's some smart ass kids. Well, I guess that's that's the only thing. Is like uh, obviously because we don't know their motivation, and neither did. Uh... Butler, so like Butler had to make a decision based on what was best for like yeah. humans, right? Yeah, the immediate and, future. Uh, like he does make a point to say that too. Like, yeah, like both sides are bad, but I'm always gonna choose the one that benefits <laughs> my side. Uh, he's like, he's like, um, he's like, yeah, I don't hate him, but I'm pressing this button anyway. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the human race. <laughs> And then he has a casual conversation while drinking whiskey it. with his buddy. I love it. And uh, yeah. it's like, uh, like as the bombs are landing, he's already you know, planning his next. His next. Uh, like, hey, you're gonna arrest me. Uh, but before you do that, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna ship me along with that medical dude. To uh, you're gonna put oh, us both in cryo. Oh my god! Oh my god! Does he have to keep him alive? Is yeah. that what that book's yes. about? Yeah. Because he, he's the guy who 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 knows everything. Like the geneticist, because they yeah, the geneticist. Yeah, he said that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like, he's he's yeah. got to keep him alive. You got to ship him with keep me. But ask him oh, some so questions in cryo jail. jail. In Wait, cryo I have a jail. quick question. Did anyone look at the front of the book and it says "Find the Truth, Stop a War," and just like be at like the second to last chapter, and you're like, "When do we find the truth and stop the war?" <laughs> like, oh, he stopped uh, it. Oh no! He, oh, yeah, he shut it down. He did, <laughs> he did, he did both. He did both. Yeah, like everything, everything he, everything he did after he found uh, Mueller or whatever his name is, Mallet. Uh, Mallet. Mallet. You have a list, Abraham. I just looked at it. Uh, everything he did after Mallet was extra credit. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. he literally could. He's like, he even says it. Like, I, I could file my report now and like be done with this. But you know, but I, I was told to, I was told to, you know, make it clean it up. Handle it. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, he was basically given a you know an op- a blank check to like do whatever the fuck he wants to do. <laughs> you fucking cash that bad boy in. <laughs> Slapped it on the counter. It said, "Give me the big prize." <laughs> no, 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 no. I said the big one. Because yeah, like, because they were gonna become a problem. Yeah. Like, even with that extra battalion, wouldn't have been enough. Like you, no. you, you yeah. Like, you needed. You I'm needed like a sizable now. force to come to you know take exactly. this planet. You and I, I, I imagine how many you would have to have millions of people to take over a planet. You definitely say. I guess that is a point lives. to make though. Yeah, yeah. I, he, sorry, I cut you off. No, no, I was just saying like he he was there to to save human lives, not really anything else. Not cat, yeah, not yeah, cat, not anything else. He had a job to do and he did it. And yeah. it it's I guess it's one of those. Do the ends justify the means? Question. And in this scenario, I say yes. Uh, I, race may be. For the all I know is is I know they didn't just have weapons in eleven mines. So maybe drop a couple more just to be safe. <laughs> just call them back. Be like, hey, can I add a little extra to this order? <laughs> guys, guys, get them this one. I'm on my way. So, I'm on my way to prison. But uh, guys, please, you know, do me yes. a solid. Respect my authority for like uh, five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> So, wait, no, but quick, quick point I wanted to make. Uh-huh. Maybe Serata didn't expect him to go so far as to, you know, send out these massive bombs because uh-huh. he's he was like, oh, that's weird. Serata knew to send the battalions before even he even left, right? Like, that, that was, like, the plan. Yeah. So, I mean, like, maybe he was expecting the war to just get bigger or something. Yeah. Like, not necessarily that, you know, they were going to have to... Like a- Blows shit up. Serata might have had had an idea, but like yeah, I maybe he didn't he know. Gave him, he gave him a blank check in case there yeah. was something that was out of the scope yeah. of what. He yeah, did. yeah. 
Because, yeah, he understood. Yeah, yeah. Serrano understood he would know that, like, if if he thought a battalion would handle it, he'd be like, all right, that's fine. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Was like no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so he's like, uh, well, if, yeah. May, well, may, so maybe maybe when he was like, yo, I need you to I need you to handle this. Maybe he thought that meant like kicking the door, finding the guy who tried to bomb him and shoot him in the mouth and not, you know, cracking open a planet. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yo, so, cracking what? open a cold one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the struggle with like dealing with such a delay of uh, like yeah. movement. Like you're five months out from like your main uh Military base, reinforcement. Right. Yeah. Reinforcement. Yeah. Uh, like I don't know where other stations are. They could be less. But I mean, at least five. At least five months. Yeah, it's like, like minimum. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And like, so he's also dealing with that fucking delay. So like, he has to make these decisions well, well ahead, and then like see how they play out like years later in some cases. Like fuck yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, My uh, God. Luckily, they can communicate faster than they can move troops, but like. Seven minutes, I think, right? Is the downtime or something I like it was that? 30 uh, like almost half an hour, I think, I believe. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. And um, well, I just assume like seven minutes plus. You know, Serato's probably taking a dump, so he's not like answering. <laughs> <the evening. laughs> you know, he needs think time to think about it. Yeah, and he's you know, yeah, he's like, oh, yeah. this is my fucking jerking at time. I'm not answering that. Yeah. It takes like thirty <laughs> minutes to reply. Always, you know. Yeah, exactly. So that's, you gotta think that's about what it. they tell. That's what he tells everybody. Like, oh fuck, I gotta think. It's jerking time, baby. I'm really not want to take different. care of his wife. Oh, people, dies. it's been the delay for years. Yeah, <laughs> there is no delay. There's never been a delay. Uh, so, uh, Brian, what do right. you think about this book? Uh, you mean out of ten, or yeah? Uh, I was like, no, I'm just. I was like, we're doing out of tens over here. I know we we we, we danced around. Out of eleven, and uh, you know, planet crackers or whatever they're called. Planet crackers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, it's solid. I can't think. It's a good appetizer, so I can't really. I I mean, it's it's annoying having a similar opinion as, as everyone else. I mean, but... I know, I know, but I'm saying you're not unique. It's okay. It, no one's new unique. Uh, obviously. So we all vote nines. Yeah, let's Whatever. just all give it nines and wrap this up. Because uh, <laughs> I can't think of anything that annoyed me. Like, I thought I would be annoyed by... Um, uh, I forget her name. but The, Lex. the strong, independent Lex. woman. Yeah, Lex. 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 She, Lex. She, she, but she even... put her hair into a mohawk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she did? Well, she, he, he goes, she got a haircut and it's short and spiky, but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. I know two days ago, but you know. Yeah, he's like, he's afraid she, or, or, it's like, or she, she's had it this whole time. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I already looked at her face. <laughs> <laughs> that dumper. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, it's, it's, uh, it has to be a nine. That's okay. Why. So Say, for the sake of for the sake of the, the you know for this I will disagree. Yeah, I'll I, say this book is gonna get a five out of ten because I think he should have cracked that bad boy in half like a fucking grape. Yeah, yeah, like a fucking p- uh, pistachio nut. Just yeah, like those awkwardly sexual they're, nut they're commercials. Trying to kill me at least twice down there. Yeah, uh, no, blow that. Yeah, yeah, oh. exactly. You're getting twice the bombs. 11 miles <laughs> down 25 what is that what, 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 is, what is that uh, is that a preschool fuck it bomb <laughs> it. fuck oh it bomb God. those, those yeah, are future soldiers it. fuck them bomb yeah. listen I don't give a fuck about no aliens as soon as they as, as soon as, as as I read that they were like just punching them in the back as they were walking I was like man they better he better fucking genocide Ooh, this whole oh I forgot oh my God. They, they also they also uh, 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 little little tidbit of information we haven't discussed. <laughs> they also killed his daughter. And, like, yeah, their daughter I, died I, on I, our I planet. Daughter died that. on Capian. That's right. Uh, he doesn't really want to talk about it. He doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to talk about it. He keeps it close you know, to the chest. Or sure did played, uh, she die? Conspiracy theory. Yeah, exactly. I was I like, mean, what if he, a cabin? Sort of. See you later in book two. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, I, I think cap, cap. that would be pretty good. I don't know. Actually, yeah. 
if his daughter is a hybrid? Ooh. I don't know. No, I don't like that. That's dumb. her daughter is geneticist. Ba, ba, ba. No, that's no, that's stupid too. She was a, she was a grunt. <laughs> No, image. she's running around blue, flying on horses and stuff uh, like Avatar. No, if that's what ends up happening to this book, I'm legitimately uh, giving it a zero. What? If his daughter's still alive, that's stupid. Don't do that. That really, yeah. that killed the big point of the Hey, what's up, uh, fan? Due to Craig being put out to pasture, the rest of the audio from this re recording was unfortunately lost. So I'll give you a quick rundown of what you missed. I make a few more hilarious jokes. Everyone laughs so hard they piss themselves. And I mean it went everywhere. There was some sobbing, there was some crying. A few of us threw up as well. Not pointing any fingers, Abraham. And Raquel. And Brian. And uh, me as well. We've all collectively decided to never, ever speak of this incident again until that video comes out on our OnlyFans, which should be, ooh, any day now. Anyway, we're reading Rocket Boys next month. Enjoy!